We've been looking into the future of medicine where the unbelievable is becoming at least remotely possible, such as freezing the dead in order to raise them. Here's ABC's Kevin Newman with medicine on the cutting edge. This ambulance is designed for someone who's already dead. The urgency is to limit the damage dying does to the brain and the body so that someone, someday, might reverse it. Ninety people in America are frozen, hoping to come back to life when medicine can cure them. Many of them are new cases in the past three years. To the handful of companies that charge from $28,000 to freeze them, these are optimistically called patients. When did you get your most recent patient? Uh, today is Thursday. Our, our most recent patient came in this last Saturday. She was, or is, a 90-year-old woman who suffered a heart attack and who is now inside this box cooling to minus 40 degrees with the help of ice and chemicals injected to minimize damage. After a week, she's going to be moved into this chamber and cooled with liquid nitrogen to minus 310 degrees. And a week after that, she'll join the others inside these sealed vacuum chambers. How many people would be in this largest chamber? The largest chamber has 14 patients in it. However, even with the precautions, ice crystals form during the freezing that injure the brain and organs, a problem research is reducing. This is a gradual process, and we haven't had any dramatic breakthrough, but we are constantly improving. If people are being frozen with less damage, there's still the problem of how do you bring them back to life? And in 30 years, nobody's found the answer. But now, some scientists think they may have one. Nanotechnology is the ability to build microscopic sized machines with atoms and molecules which some scientists believe could repair freezing damage. We could have fleets of small computer controlled devices that could be injected, that would circulate throughout the body, and which would identify and correct problems. Suddenly there's an idea of how bodies already frozen can be repaired if they're ever thawed. Which is also reassuring to those contemplating the process who wonder when they'll be able to come back. I'm much more confident now, much more confident that this will be a reality in the near future. I was, in the past, I was thinking, you know, three, four, five hundred years. Now I'm looking to 30, 50, 70 years from now. So like so much else in medicine, cryonics, once considered on the outer edge, is moving closer to reality. Which means the lady in here may have a future after all. Kevin Newman, ABC News, Clinton Township, Michigan. You know it's serious. In my ear, our producer just urged me not to do it. You can talk online to the founder of the Cryonics Institute after the broadcast at abcnews.com.